Should I start vlogging now? Oh, we'll get off the plane. Off the plane. Officially outside. Bro, I think my voice starting to change, B. <laughs> <laughs> So back to the Airbnb to change and stuff, but uh, now we're here in the city. We're in Soho. I'm about to pull up today with the event, so oh, I got coffee on my mask. Ever make it a How's your day so far? You have fun. How about you? Marvelous. Marvelous. How about you? Your first time here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I dead ass suck at vlogging. I didn't vlog that much because honestly yesterday I was so tired and hanging out with Joe and shit like that, I didn't want to shove a camera in his face. But um, today we're probably gonna go to Brooklyn, uh, hit up some few shops that were recommended to me by Everett and Joel. It's crazy, bro. I'm really in New York, bro. We're really outside, bro. Like dead ass. So we just got off the train. We're about to go head up Raggedy Threads and Ella Train Vintage. Hopefully I find something because I haven't bought shit so far. The ones that you just had with some leaves and heart. Sick. A little repair detail on these two. Yeah, I might go with these. Probably will go with these. These are tough. I also saw these HBTs as well. I don't know if I would go with these. I have literally have these right here already, so there's no point. But the details on these are crazy repair right here super sick they're asking for like three as well so i mean fuck yeah i'm definitely gonna get these though you're tough yes sir i'm gonna weigh these out loki the store was fire shout out to everett for real for putting me on because <laughs> Thank you. These are some of the sweaters that I found in here. They're both like 20 each, so not that bad. I'm actually supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be in Italy, Florence. 
that I canceled my study abroad trip. But um, yeah, these are the ones I found. Pretty nice. Honestly, yeah. All the good vintage shit in here. It's just hot as. What is it for? I fuck with it. Huh? I like that color. Oh, it's nice. We just came out of Brooklyn Brick House. Go straight on body. Straight on body. Tough. Tough. I should complete the outfit, bro. We're gonna head to a rugged roads. It's a vintage store curated by two Japanese brothers, which is sick, so. time so far? Yes. Do you like New York? Yes. Did you want to live here? Yes. Mm. No, nah, really though, if I could find a job here, that'd be amazing. Everybody orders pasta. And then this guy orders a fucking steak. <laughs> Welcome back to the casting couch. What did he say? Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a, a little pickups of what I got. First thing I got was this vintage Tulex tag sweater. It has a nice little hit on the front right chest or front left. And then uh, I got this vintage Russell sweater. That's a little fading on it right now, but um, it's I got these for like good prices, like twenty dollars each, so not tax at all. Uh, so yeah, these are the banger of the pickups. I got these from Raggedy Threads. Shout out to Everett for putting me on because these pants are super tough. They're a pair of uh, vintage Wranglers, and yo, just I mean, just look at them, bro. Crazy. Got them for a solid price. Uh, I just had to walk out of something with Raggedy. No, I don't know why. I told Everett I would, so. And finally, this is Jordan's pickup, but this shit is so tough. He got this from the same place. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the sweaters, yeah, the two sweaters in the beginning, and then this cardigan was from uh, Brooklyn Brick House. Super, super tough vintage cardigan. The colors are amazing. And yeah, the fit was nice. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what he wore. That shit was tough. But uh, yeah, that is the pickup for today. Uh, we just went to a couple shops and then hung out with the homie Joel out there. So yeah. So, yeah. All right, so we're in the city now and uh, we're about to pull up to the Chelsea market. So I'll record a little bit. Hopefully I'll find something, even though I've already bought some stuff. I was looking for new clothes. Did you buy it? So mm -hmm. like that, but you can't come. Uh, we just hit up ALD. Uh, I got the fitted. Quality on the fit is really nice, so I decided to get myself a pair. Uh, or a hat. Yeah, I linked up with the homie Max and Ray. They're just showing us around right now. And um I guess I could post. Dude, this is so pretty. Hello. So today is our last day. We finally checked out of the Airbnb. I think we're making our way back into the city to hang out for a little bit before we head out. Luckily, the Airbnb host let us keep our luggage outside in the hall so we can pick it up once we head out. But uh, probably gonna grab some coffee. Uh, I don't know what we're doing today, but I'll try to vlog a little bit of it. The naked chicken chalupa is back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we just ate at Dante's or Dante. It's a Italian place that Joel showed us. She was really good. So uh, now we're heading back. But we've been to AOD like four fucking times. Well, we're heading back so Jordan and Mona can pick up some shit. Look how LeBron. That looks sweaty and gross. Long day of traveling. Fucking exhausted. So tired. I'm sticky, I'm sweaty, I'm depressed. <laughs> I dead ass tried to record this outro like 10 times it's been like 30 minutes but yeah i edited all of this on my phone so um sorry if it's not as cohesive as it should be but um thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end much love also thank you to joel ray and uh, max for showing us around the city we definitely would not have had the experience that we had in new york if we didn't have them around so huge 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 thank you and um yeah if you guys have any other tips or advice or ideas on what you guys would like to see next please let me know and yeah it's your boy Vinny. thank you so much for watching once again and i'm out peace mm -hmm.